to you. God is infinite in power. Yeah. Oh, yes. God knows no restriction. He is not restricted. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He fills all space. Yes, in the name of Jesus. He has yes. ability or power. Glory. Hallelujah. The God that you serve yes, Lord Jesus. is everywhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. At the same time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He has no limits. Yes. He's not limited. You can't, it cannot be capsuled. Ah. Can't put him in a jar and cover it up and say, that's God. Yeah. No. He fills all space. Yes, he does. His presence. Is everywhere at the same time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you imagine that? Hallelujah. Same mom, you talked about that Wednesday night. Yeah, I did. Hallelujah. It stayed with me, Elder. Yes, Lord. Couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I think. Even though my, my little finite mind cannot comprehend it, Glory. I think about it. Hmm. And Hersey, I would think about God and how powerful he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. He is powerful. He is powerful. Yes, he is. I think sometimes because we are not capable of comprehending his power that we just kind of, kind of just let it we don't we don't really delve into it because there's a certain reverence and fear that comes over us when we when we think about him in his majesty and his awesomeness and his ability to do anything. Yes. I left Wednesday night, and the last words I spoke was Don't forget oh, our yeah. God. I give us some. Yes, Jesus. Can do anything. anything. There is nothing that you can think of yes. that he is not able to do. Nothing. Nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Pam testified that she was able to hear. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lord. She oh, was able yeah. to hear another language that yeah. she knows nothing of in yes. English. Yes. Yes, God. Because God lives in us. Yes, yes, oh, yes, my. Yes, yes, and I don't yes. want to get ahead of myself. Oh, but because God lives in us. Hallelujah. This infinite Powerful, mighty, majestic. God that fills all space. He lives in his spirit. Glory. Let me not throw anybody off when I say he, but he is a spirit yeah. and he lives in us. Yeah. He understands Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's why Sister Pam could hear what they were saying in English because he gave her the ability to understand what they were saying. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Is there anything that God cannot do? Yes, Lord. God is 
He's limitless. Anything. Anything. Anything we allow him. Anything we allow him to do. If we get rid of or when we get rid of mm. our fears and our reluctance oh, yeah, to yeah, let yeah, him yeah, have yeah. full and 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 reign supreme in us. Oh, yeah, oh glory, hallelujah. We will be able to do anything. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Also, because my Bible tells me that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, the spirit of God, God made a, a body and robed himself in flesh, but it was the spirit of God that lived in Jesus. And that same spirit, is that what the Bible say? The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead now yes, Lord Jesus. dwells in our mortal body. Yes. You make you think about that for a minute. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ, they 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 crucified him. He was dead. They put him in a borrowed tomb. They put a stone, they sealed it. And when they went to see him, the next morning, three days later, he wasn't there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. The spirit, the God that dwelt in him. Thank you, Jesus. The body. Thank you, Jesus. God up. <laughs> the stone. I would imagine that that the power that he rose with, it, the stone just moves automatically. Oh, yeah, but, uh, but, uh, hallelujah. It just it just moved out of me and he just took his exit. Yes, Lord Jesus. Because he's omnipotent. Yes, and has infinite Why? power. Infinite power. There the, the, the power that 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 he possesses is so humongous. It's infinite. It cannot be matched. It cannot be exceeded. It is, it is the greatest of the great yes. power. Oh, power almighty. And nothing can stop his decreed will from happening. If God said, if he decreed that it's going to happen, uh, you can take it to the back. Hallelujah. Whatever he says is going to come to pass. Yes, God. They say God said it, that settles it. If God says it, it's settled. Because he has yes. omnipotent yes. power. Yes. He's omnipotent. He has infinite yes. power. Nothing. So, mom, you said the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in our body. It is the spirit of God that raised Jesus from the dead yes. and it now dwells in our body. 
So if we open ourselves yes, sir. Yes, sir. and we stop limiting his power uh -huh. yeah. and we can look beyond her humanity wow. and believe him oh. and trust him. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What is there? The Bible says he is able to do exceeding abundantly. You're yeah, yeah, able yeah. to do exceeding abundantly above anything. He is able to do exceeding above whatever we are able to ask or think through the power that worketh in us. Hallelujah. So you people has got the power of God. It does not operate the way it would because we have a cap on it. We do fear, yes. doubt, Yeah. Reluctance, of your way, Lord Jesus. lack of response yes. to recognizing what who we are. Glory, hallelujah. Sometimes we or all the time we don't recognize who we are. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. <clears throat> And we allow fear, the Holy Ghost comes on us and it wants us to do something, but we allow fear to prevent us from moving in the place uh -huh. or doing the bidding of our God. Yeah. God is omnipresent. There is no fear yes. in God. Yes. I am going to read the scripture for you. And as I read the scripture, I want you to recognize that the same God that I'm reading about. Yes, Lord Jesus. Now dwells in our mortal body. Oh Lord, thou hast searched me yeah. and known me. Yeah. Thou knowest my down sitting. I'm reading from Psalm 139. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Yes. Thou compassest my path and my line down and are acquainted with all my ways. Yes. For there is not a word in my tongue, but Lord, but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot attain it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit yeah. or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Yeah. 
if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, yeah. even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about yeah. me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day, and the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Yes, 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 Lord. For thou hast possessed my ruins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Yes. I will praise thee, uh -huh. for I am fearfully yes. and wonderfully made. Yes. Marvelous are thy works, yes. and that my soul knoweth. Mm -hmm. Right? Well. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The God of heaven and earth, the all-powerful God created us. He has perfect knowledge of us. Yes. He dwells with us. Huh. He's always with us. In the name of Jesus. And his thoughts are always directed toward yes. us. Yes. In every situation. Because mm. that God yes. that I am reading about has allowed himself to come and live in us, yeah, yeah, yeah. to dwell in us. We are capable. We have the same power that lives in us or the same power of God living in us. Yes. So whenever we have a situation, if we find ourselves absorbed by him and trust in him and having faith in him, the Bible says, speak to the mountain. Uh -huh. And it will move yes. because the God that lives in us speaks out of us yes. to the situations. Yes. The God that lives in us, the thoughts of what we are going through, yes, yes, yes. we in the spirit realm can speak to it. His eyes, his thoughts are with us. Yes, God. Help me, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes. He is with us. Hallelujah. Isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes. He is with us. So what we have to do is find ourselves rooted and grounded in him. We've got to find ourselves saturated with the spirit so the spirit can attend to the, to the temporal things. Hallelujah. So the spirit that lives in us is so, is so active. Glory. is so powerful and we activate um, and we, we build it up and it will take care of the temporal situations. Why do you think that when we reach down in our spirit and we make intercession with God, our spirit makes intercession yeah. for us. Don't you see the manifestation of God? Oh. Don't you? When you pray, believe in. When you offer your petition to him. Yes. And he comes and answers. The spirit of God in us is making intercession for us so we can speak 
to the mountains yes, that we face. Yes, Jesus. And the, 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 the psalmist, the psalmist recognized the infinity of God. And he realized that the God of heaven, when we realize that the God of heaven yes, lives in us, the same God that I'm talking about, he lives in us. Yes, Lord. But we can't walk after the flesh. Hallelujah. In order for him to have free course. Yes. The psalmist said, Oh Lord, thou hast known me. Huh. Thou knowest all our inward thoughts. Hmm. Lord. Oh Lord, you know me. You know my inward thoughts. Yes, Lord. You know whether they're right and you know whether they're wrong. You know what motivates me. You know my desires and fears. He knows the spirit that dwells in us knows us. Hallelujah. He knows our desires. Mm -hmm. He knows our fears. And when he tells us to move, we don't move because we're fearful. Uh -huh. But when we desire him more than our necessary food, that he can move in us. And we can lay hands on the sick and the sick will recover. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. If we are motivated Amen. by his spirit. Hallelujah. If we are motivated by the power that dwells in us. Yeah. If we are motivated to the point where there is no fear. Yes. There's nothing we cannot do. Yes. The Bible says greater works. Mm. We are supposed to do greater works. Glory. We are supposed to do greater works, but we are motivated by fear. Uh-huh. Mm. Well. We're fearful. We have not allowed the power of God to activate itself. Yes. He knows our inward parts. He does. He lives in us. <laughs> so he knows. He knows. He knows our inward parts. Yes. And he knows our outward parts, uh -huh. our habits. Yes, yeah, in the name of God. And our actions. Hallelujah. He knows that when we are supposed to pray. Uh -huh. He knows that when we are supposed to fast, yeah. we don't. He knows that when we are supposed to consecrate ourselves, he knows that when we are supposed to read uh -huh. our Bible. Hallelujah. Our desires is not to be so close to him that we can do greater works. Mm. He knows what we do with our days. Wow. He knows that when we get up, we don't have devotion. Wow. We jump up out of the bed and we go about our business and we never take time until sometime later in the day we work out. Oh my goodness, I didn't pray this morning. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He knows. Mm. He knows. Yes, sir. He knows. 
he knows our beginning and he knows our end. He knows everything that we do. He knows everything that we say. Yeah. But his mercy. Yes. His mercy encircles us. Mm. His mercy encircles us and it protects us. And even though we run out the house and never take time to say, Lord, I thank you for waking me up. If we go out on the street and we're going to have an accident, we'll tell Jesus. Oh, yes. He attends to us. <laughs> and he gives us favor anyway. Yes, he does. What a God. We can't get away from him. He's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. He knows all. Yeah, yeah. He sees all. Yes. The psalmist says, Where shall I go from thy spirit? Mm -hmm. He's in there. Whether shall I go from thy spirit or whether shall I flee from thy presence? Yes. You can't get away from him. Yes. There's no getting away from him because he's there. If I ascend up into heaven, yes, Lord. you're there. If I make my bed in hell, Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Behold, thou art there. So why don't we just surrender? <laughs> yes, no one. To him. Because we can't get away from him. You can't, we can't get away from him. If I, if I, if I, if I'm living right and I'm doing right and I'm doing what he requires, yes, Lord, his presence is there. Yes, Lord. Call that we're walking or living in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. But if we decide that we're going to go to hell mm. today, <laughs> because I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm not. I'm going to step aside and, and just step out of his presence today and I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm going to tell a little white lie today. Yes, God. I'm going to do, I'm going to partake in something I have no business. Mm. He's yes. there. Yes, yes. Behold, thou art there. Yes, yes. God is omnipresent. Yes. You can't hide from him. Yes. He fills all space. Yes, Lord. Is he filling your space today? Uh, how active is he in our lives? Lord. Can't help, can't hide from him. No matter where we go, God is there. Whither shall I flee from your presence? Uh -huh. Jeremiah 23, 23 and 24 says, Am I am I a God? At hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off. Yes. Can any hide himself in, in secret places? Huh. Can you hide yourself <laughs> from him? 
that I shall not see him? Can you hide yourself in a secret place that God can't see you? Sometimes, sometimes kids, people have a tendency to say, man rather darkness than light because their deeds are evil. But I don't care how dark it is because the, the night and the day and the day and yes. the night is the same to him. Yes, yes. The night. If surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yes. <laughs> yes, Lord. God sees us. The scripture says. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord, do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord. You can't hide. We cannot hide. We can't hide. God is omniscient. He knows everything. He doesn't only know our actions, yes, yes. but he also knows our thoughts. You can tell me anything. <laughs> you can tell anybody anything. Yeah. God knoweth the thoughts of a man that they are vanity. In Psalm 94, 11, he knows. Yeah. He knows our thoughts. He knows our thoughts are far off. He does. Our very thought. Careful what you think. Yes. Because also thoughts are things and they materialize. Yes. So if you think positive, it will materialize. Yes. And if you think negative, it will materialize. Mm -hmm. Sister Felicia told you two years ago, maybe more than that, that she was going to buy your house. And no doubt she's been thinking about buying you that house. I'm sure she has. Well, what happened? You're moving in your house in another, whenever, soon. The papers are drawn up and God bless you to save $20,000 in the process. Amen. Because thoughts are things and they materialize. Amen. Amen. So when she thinks with the power of God that dwells in her, Amen. she don't have to speak it, you know. You just think it. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. She didn't have to walk around every time she see, I'm gonna buy your house. I'm gonna buy your house. You hear what I'm telling you? I'm gonna buy your house. I'm gonna buy your house. <laughs> no, she just put it out there in the spirit realm. Amen. Amen. In the Holy Ghost realm, Amen. in the power realm that lives in her. And she's, I'm gonna buy Elder Turner a house. God, I'm gonna buy Elder Turner a house. I'm telling you right now, my spirit is making intercession with God concerning this house. Amen. Amen. And guess what? It has materialized. Amen. So he knows our thoughts. He's acquainted. 
united with us, you know. Yeah. He knows who we are because especially if he lives in us. First Samuel 16, 7 says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature because I have refused him. Mm. Well. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh at the outward appearance but the Lord look at, at the heart. He knows what's in your heart. Yes, yes Lord. He has come and, 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 and the heart of man is desperately wicked. And he has put his presence and his power and his love in us to change our heart and point it toward him. And, and to, so that we can, we can get close to him. You can dress. You can get your dress down to your floor. And you can cover your head. And you can do whatever you want to do to secure your exposure. And you can worship, supposedly. Because there's worship and then there's worship. You can worship, act like you worship him. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, act like you worship him with malice and, and, and resentment and hate and, 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 and misery and, 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 and all kinds of things in your heart. And sing, I'm on my way to heaven, and I'm so glad. Come with me, I'm on my way to heaven, and I'm so glad. Yes, but if your heart yes, ain't right, yes, Lord. God is looking at it. Amen. So my advice to all of us who profess this wonderful salvation and this great salvation and this closeness to God, my encouragement yes. to you today is to clean up your heart. Hallelujah. Because I don't care how we profess yes. to be all of that mm. in the house of the Lord. If our heart is not right, we go bust hell wide open. Yes. Help me, Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's true. We are, we ain't going nowhere. We're not going where we think we're going. No. We're just fooling ourselves. So let's stop fooling ourselves. Yes, and Lord. clean up your heart. Yes. If you have ought against somebody, you go to them. And if you know or think somebody has an ought against you, then you better go tell them. <laughs> I forgive you. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I forgive you. Because don't let nobody hold on to your blessing. Mm. I know that. Mm. God knows the secrets. Mm -hmm. Psalm 44, 21 says, God knows, God knows the secrets of our heart. Yeah. We can fool. So, and you know what? When the Holy Ghost is in you and, and your heart is not right, mm -hmm. you know that it tugs on your conscience. Yeah. It tugs on, on your conscience and it and it makes you know. Yes, yes, Lord. it makes you know that that person don't like you. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yes, Lord. That person don't like you. You better go over there and give them a hug and tell them how much you love them. And whether they receive you or they don't, it's on them. But you don't clean up your heart. And obey the word. Mm. 
God knows. When the Bible speaks about God's foreknowledge, it means that he knows all things. Yeah. Future, present, past. Mm -hmm. He knows all things. You can't fool God. No. And if you want a toy to play with, mm -hmm. If you want a toy to play with, don't 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 play with God. Yeah, yeah. Go, we don't have toys around us here anymore. But go to Walmart. <laughs> Their toys are cheap. Go to Walmart <laughs> and and buy a toy and piddle around with it and play with it. But don't play with God. Yeah. All things are preordained. Yeah. We are predestinated. Yes. You know you're predestined? Did you know that God knew before he created the heavens and the earth that you'd be sitting here today looking at me smiling? <laughs> yes, no, I did. Did, did you, you know that? You know that, right? <laughs> did you know that you, 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 me, all of us was in the thought of God? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are predestinated. Yeah. And some of us refuse to walk in our destiny. Well. Mm -hmm. God said, I'm going to make a preacher out of you. I'm pointing in the air. <laughs> God said, I'm going to make a preacher. I, I got in my, in, down the road. <laughs> I'm going to make a preacher out of yes, you. Lord, in the name of Jesus. And the time comes and you say, no, not me, God. <laughs> <laughs> this God, yeah. Pastor Greg Elijah Church and Ministries, are you for real? <laughs> yes, God. Praise the Lord. You are predestined to do what God wants you to do. So why don't you just surrender to him and say, oh God, I'm going to eat this humble pie and I'm going to do what you say, Lord Jesus, because I don't want you to be near. I do not want to suffer any needless pain. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because in Psalm 139 verse 7, it says, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Before you were born, he knew you. Yes. Yes. Where am I? God is omnipotent. Yes. He is all powerful and has ultimate authority over all things and all creatures. Yes, Lord. He's all powerful. You are all powerful. Yes, Lord. You are all powerful. Yes, Lord. In the name you are all powerful. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You have the Holy Ghost. You have power. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you today, you are all powerful. Omnipotent reigns in you. Oh, God, help me. Does he? So why don't we get our grits together? All of us, everyone. Why don't we get our grits together? Put the, the lid on the cover so it can't splat all over the place. And take our rightful authority, our rightful power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And do what we are predestined to do. Yes. 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 Yes.
yes, Lord. Why don't we? How long we go? We go. <laughs> what is it? Go around the edges. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the go to the go to the ocean and 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 take the baby to the ocean and they're scared to put their foot in. And, and you try to put them in the water and they pull up their little legs. <laughs> yeah. Ain't going in that water. Not today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some of us are like that with God. Uh -huh. God is trying to wet our feet. <laughs> God is trying to wet our feet. And we say, no. I don't want no water on my feet today. I don't want my water on my feet ever. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it Jesus I am sorry but with all this power and all this anointing and all this authority and all this this all that you give me I am not going yes, to do Lord, it have your way. so let me encourage you today God if he means for you to do it if he got to slap you yeah. And I, I, I understand the point that God doesn't force anybody against your yeah. will. Uh -huh. And we have a will. God gave us free choice. Yeah. Free choice. Yeah. But the needless pain that comes with not doing what he wants us to do uh -huh. is not worth it. Well, no, it's not. Because you're going to have some needless pain if you don't do what God wants you to do. Yeah. And you keep running from him and ring around the rosy. What's yeah. it? Pocket full of posies. <laughs> ashes, ashes. All fall down. You're going to fall down. Oh, yeah. Right, Sister Brooks? Right. So let me encourage us today to do what God has mm -hmm. designed yeah. for us yeah. to do. So that the power of God that lives in us in these last and closing days can manifest itself so people will look at us and say, something about you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Something about you that I can't resist. Sister Felicia, you told Sister Pam that that lady will never forget her. God equipped Sister Pam in the name. because she woke up and went into prayer. You don't get what you should get if you don't respond. Yeah. Or do. I said, in order to get the blessing, you have to do what requires to get the blessing. <laughs> you don't get the blessing just, just not getting your feet wet. No one yeah. wanted to get your feet wet. Yeah. You don't know what what. What are you going to do if you don't get your feet wet? Well. But God is love. Yes. God is love. Yes, Lord. And his mercy is kind to us. And I know the Bible says his mercy endures forever. But don't take advantage of that. Yes, yes. You know? Yes. Because it runs out sometimes. Yes. You're allotted a certain amount of mercy. And when your days come, baby, your mercy is done. And God says, okay, go, go, just go do what you want to do. And I'm going to stand here and watch you. And then you turn around and say, oh, God, uh, Jesus. Yeah. And his loving kindness will reach out and grab you uh -huh. because he got your attention then. Yeah. Okay, God is love. The love of God for his children is the most wonderful thing that the universe knows. Yeah. The love of God that constrains us. For God. For God. So love the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. See how much he loves his sister. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. That if we believe in yes. him, uh -huh. if we trust him, if we do what he requires us to do, if we walk upright before him, if we surrender ourselves to him, we will not perish. Well, but what happens if we don't do what we're supposed to do? Everlasting life or eternal life yeah. is not for those who don't do God's will. <laughs> Somebody said, come on, mom. Yeah. It's not. Can't do what you it, the Bible says if you know to do good and you don't do it, to you it's a sin. Ah. And there ain't no sin going to happen. So if you know that God is has a has his hand on your life yeah. and he's requiring you to do something and you don't do it, it's a sin. Yes. And ain't no, let me say it again. Uh, let me say it properly. No sin is going to enter the kingdom of God. Yes. God don't deal with sin in that way. You don't put no sin in God's face. Yes. God is holy. Yes. So he requires holiness. Yes. I don't care what we say or how we put it or, or how we try to figure it out and, and, and dissect it and put it back together. Ain't no sin going to heaven. Huh. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and they were talking about suicide. And I say, you commit suicide, you're going straight to hell. And the person said, well. And I said, well, where are you going to get a chance to repent? And the Bible said, thou shalt not kill. And if you kill yourself, it's a sin. And sin not going to heaven. So you explain it to me. I'm open. I'm listening. Amen. <laughs> Please tell me how how does that work? <laughs> okay. The infinite love of God toward us is amazing. Look at all that He did to draw us into His fold and to make us heirs and joint heirs. Well. God, it's everlasting. He promised us eternal life because of his love toward us and we refuse to serve him. Yeah, yeah. And think we gonna go to hell, we gonna bust hell wide open. Tell them Pastor Hackett said so. Tell them go read their Bible, they'll see that it says so too. Amen. You know that what you're doing is wrong. Oh. And this God of this mighty, this powerful, this great, this wonderful, this, this awesome, this God, this God of, of, of the universe. Yeah. The God that hurls the stars in the sockets. My, my, I have a grandbaby, three months old. And my God, the kid act like he's getting ready to, to, to talk to me. Huh. He's just growing. I said, so, whoa, whoa. This is a hacking child. <laughs> but guess what? You don't care how you, how, don't matter how you look at him and stare him down. You never see him grow. The breeze is blowing. You see the effects of it. The trees are just blowing. Talk to Julie the other night. She said, oh my God, Jones, we having some kind of winds, girl. Ask her if she could see it. You see the wind? Do you see the way? He knows the number of the hair on 
on your head. And those of us who has lost our hair or we don't have no hair, he knew how many would be there if we didn't lose our hair. He does. He gives us breath to breathe. You think this year alarm clock woke you up this morning? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, my God. He blesses us. Yes, Lord. He blesses us more and abundantly. We are abundantly blessed. He prospers us. Yes, Lord. But yet we won't serve him. No. What's wrong with us? Lord. We won't do what he say. We know it's a sin. We know he's requiring it, and we don't do it. Yeah. How long are we going to depend on his mercy? Because when you when you when you live in, in, in disobedience, you, you ain't living in grace, you're living in mercy. It's the mercy of God that's keeping you from from from, from killing over and, and dying. God's mercy. Yeah, yeah. His love toward us is amazing. It's everlasting. Yes. So much so that all the things that I, I spoke of, we cannot even comprehend. The breeze. You know there's breeze blowing in here. If you have a magnifying glass, you can't see it. If you have a telescope, you can't see it. There's a scripture that, that is trying to come into my mind. The wind blow it, the breeze blow it, where it listed, listed, but we cannot tell where, where it's coming from. I didn't know that I was going to be talking about the wind, so I didn't, I didn't memorize or didn't think about that scripture until right now. Yet the breeze is blowing, but we don't know where it's going from, and we don't know where it's going. It's just blowing, though. And we can't serve God. And he gives us breath to breathe. Yeah. Let me go on. Our human mind is not capable of understanding its full significance, the love of God. You cannot understand the full significance of it. How God look at me and decide he's going to give me the Holy Ghost. Oh. The apostle could not find words to describe his love. Nobody can describe God's love. Nobody can describe God. But his love is everlasting. So, in the fundament, in the, 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 not knowing what to say. I don't want to say the ignorance, but in the simplicity of his mind, in the, in the, in the, in the finiteness of his mind, trying to figure out this love of God, this great, big, wonderful God that we serve, that we won't do what he say. He said, behold what manner of love. Yes. Behold what manner of love the Father yes. oh, has bestowed upon us. Mm. Mm -hmm. What manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god yes, think about it hmm. mm -hmm. when we did not deserve it hmm. my god the Father bestowed on us his love, my God, and we can't love him back. Mm. 
Mm. Behold what manner of love. What manner of love? Yes, Lord. We cannot understand it. First John 3, 1. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we, you and I, should be called the sons of God. And the scripture says, and if children, because I'm a son, I'm a child of God. And if children, then heirs, <laughs> heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. My God, he made us his children, and we are heirs of God and joint heir with Christ, the same reward that Jesus got, we going to get. Mm. Mm. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also glory, be glorified mm -hmm. together. We are going to be glorified with him and we can't serve him. Mm -hmm. How important is that to us? to be glorified with him, even if we have to go through a little something that this flesh doesn't want to go through. But if we're walking in the spirit, it's not that difficult. Ah. Yeah. The way of a transgressor is hard, the Bible says. Mm. But if we walk in with him, yes, Lord. and we love him on him, I don't care how we stretch our minds yes. to the limits. We could get a headache thinking about it and talking about it. We will never be able to comprehend the love of God. Can't comprehend it. Yes, Lord. But as we study his word, and we meditate on the plan of redemption because mm. that's something else that we cannot comprehend how God could send his son to die for sinners. Yes, Lord. But if we think about the plan of redemption and submit ourselves to the will of God in our lives, we will not be able to comprehend it, but we will realize the blessing that is laid before us. Yes, that we can be joint heirs with him through his love. The Apostle Paul wrote, in Ephesians 1.18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. There is hope. Yeah. There's hope. We're not just living this life. There's hope. We're looking for another city. Built of God, eternal in the heaven, made with hands. My God, saints, come on, let's serve Him. And what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints, 
if you live right, there is an inheritance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's an inheritance. Mm -hmm. God has revealed himself as the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, mm. long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. Yeah. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression of sin. Yes. Exodus 34, 6 and 7. You have an inheritance. Yes, Lord. And even though he went to such an extreme to draw us to him and to bring us up into this wonderful salvation mm. and to give us this glorious inheritance, he said in his word, when he expresses himself toward us. Yes, in Isaiah 49, 15. Can a woman forget her suck, sucking child? That she would not have compassion on the son of her womb? God is not going to forget us. <laughs> Just like a mother would not forget and have compassion on the son of her womb. Yeah. Yay, they may forget. They may forget. But I will not forget thee. Even if a mother forgets her second child, mm. God loves us so much. That in his word, read it when you go home, Isaiah 49, 15. Mm. He will not forget us. Yes, Lord. God will not forget us. He is great, big, wonderful God. Yes. Who sought and found us and delivered us and Helping us to walk in heavenly places if we desire. Yes. God bless you. Oh,